What's up you guys, in this video I'm going to be quickly going over how to pass AI detection tests. <clears throat> so this could be useful for, you know, homework or assignments uh, where teachers check uh, if it's written by AI and it can also be useful for blog articles if you don't want Google to know it's written by AI so you have a better chance of ranking. Now, it's an insane tool, I probably shouldn't be sharing this because if this gets, um, if like undetectable that AI gets smarter and adds in more captures and stuff, it may not be possible. But I just found this insane tool, so I'm gonna show you how it's, how it works. Basically, you just go to AI detection, AI text detection bypass, and then if you don't know, you know how to code, you can still use this. Simply go uh, git clone paste in the URL and then I'm going to call mine um, AI detection bypass three because I already have a view. Now CD into AI detection bypass three, open it in your code editor. And it's just insane how this works. So if you want to see quickly how it works, it'll basically make a temporary email and then it'll use uh, it'll use undetectable.ai which is the best way to make undetectable AI content but the problem is you only have 250 free words and then the pricing is like is like insane so for a two to four thousand word article it probably costs like four dollars <clears throat> So if you want to do cheaper um, articles, then you definitely need a way to use undetectable AI because there's nothing on the market quite as good as undetectable.ai. I've tried them all, or most of them. And um, yeah, so this is a way you can use it um, <clears throat> in a hacky way. So all you have to do is install Anaconda if you don't have Anaconda, and then you do um, conda create minus n. I'm gonna call this bypass, and then accept the agreement. Conda activate bypass. Then you need to do pip three install minus r requirements to install the requirements inside the inside the repo. And after that, all you have to do is new file, uh, call it like article.txt, get your article you want to you want to make into humanize humanize it, like get your article that you want to humanize, and then paste in article.txt, and then pretty much just do Python three paraphraser.py to start the app. It'll ask you a few things. I'm going to do article, university, and then marketing. Oh, sorry. Again, uh, three article, two university, and then you just, and then you just, oh, fuck. I'm going to do it one more time. I want article marketing and then the path so article.txt and then you'll see it's doing insane insane shit using selenium uh, creating temporary emails and then using the playground 250 word limit doing it in 250 word chunks and then it's gonna you copy and save it to a new file you'll see here in a second called, um, I forget what it's called, paraphrase.txt right here. So, so then yeah, like literally it'll be much better for AI detectors. This is one sample article that was almost 3000 words long and it was AI written using my other tool and then now it's saying 60% original which is pretty good sometimes it's around 90% which is even better GPT-0 is saying 46% uh, 
AI and 54% human. So that's pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And um, if you have any comments, leave them in the section below. And thanks for watching. See you.